Welcome to this week's vlogging video. Today's video is all about different ways to make money from your blog. So I'm gonna go over different like monetization and ways to kind of diversify because there's a lot of ways you can handle it. So I'll kind of like talk about the best ways that I think you should and ways that we personally do it on my website. So I have the website by sophialee.com. I started it five years ago and now it's a seven figure business. We have a team of seven and I've learned so much that now I'm trying to help you because when I started, I watched so many videos. I stalked so many websites and it really helped me grow my website a lot faster. So let's get into the top ways to earn money from your blog. All right, I have my handy dandy <laughs> iPad notes. Speaking of, we just launched a blogging iPad planner. It is so freaking good. It's my dream blogging planner. Like if I would have had this when I first started my blog, oh my God, I would have been on cloud nine. So definitely check that out. Here are like my favorite ways to make money and I'll kind of like dive into every single one of them from your blog. Number one, ads. This is like the first way you will probably start earning substantial income from your website. So Google ads is, so like you know how like when you're on a website you see ads, like that's basically what it is. And Google ads is like the easiest ad network to get into. I do think they've made it a little bit harder than when I first started, um, but definitely have that as your first goal. You will not earn a lot of money from Google ads. Like you just won't, they don't really pay out, but at least you get something. And then you wanna work on getting more and more page views. Use Pinterest, Pinterest is the number one way you can get page views. And then you can start going into other ad networks. So I personally use Mediavine. You have to have, 100,000 page views a month. Oh my gosh, I keep burping, you guys. <laughs> yeah, it's so gross. Wait, no, you have to have 50,000 page views a month um, to apply to it. I actually got rejected the first time I applied. So if you get rejected, keep applying. The reason that I got rejected is I had one viral post and so I was like, this is awesome. Like I can apply now, I hit the page views and they were like, no, you have to have like more consistent blog posts go viral, so keep working on it. But the difference was insane from Google ads to Mediavine. Like the same amount of page views in one day, I would earn like $20 on um, Google ads and I would earn like $200 on Mediavine. So that is, I don't know if that's accurate, actually accurate, but it was something that was crazy. Um, so that is like the first way that I would try if I were you to make money on your website. Two is affiliate income. So this is like kind of how, this is like actually following like exactly how I did it. So affiliate income was the second thing I focused on. And this is basically when you like link something on your website. So Amazon Associates is by far our biggest like affiliate. They just slashed the commission rates, which they did this back in 2022, which absolutely sucks, but they raised it back up and so I'm hoping eventually they raise it again. That's just like get your eggs in different baskets and don't fully rely on just affiliate income because if something happens like that, you don't wanna be screwed. But this is a great way to, one, you're really helping your readers because you're giving them products that you recommend and two, you can generate some income off of it. Your readers are not stupid. Like they are actually so, so smart. If you are just recommending a product to make money off of it, people will be able to tell. So you wanna like genu genuinely <laughs> like the product. But now in the, like this day and age, basically every single website or store has like an affiliate program associated with it. Like I said, Amazon's our biggest one, but reward style is another big one. Reward sale commission rates are just so low. So like, that's what I struggle with. But skim links right away, like you can get into skim links. So highly recommend getting skim links set up. But affiliate income is definitely one of the major ways that you will be earning money on your website. Number three, digital products. Okay, so this goes hand in hand with affiliates because affiliates is like you're linking to a product. And so I was seeing that people were clicking and buying those, but like you only get a small commission on the purchases on the purchases made from your affiliate links. So if you can start a digital product, you get basically all of the profit off of it and it's digital, which means that most of the time it's passive. So you have to design it like one time or create it one time and then it will keep earning money over and over and over again. Passive income is 
so huge, like so, so huge. An example of passive income for us is like we have the tangible planners on like, okay, so like we sell daily planners, which was go watch my last video on how that whole thing started. But right now it's under shop.bysophialee.com, but we're turning it over onto the daily in like a few weeks. But there we sell tangible planners, but we also sell digital planners. And tangible planners, like so much work goes into them. We have to buy the product, we have to ship the product, we have to have someone package the product. You know, people are getting them, they come damaged. Like there's so many different variables in there. But our iPad planners, like that is something that we create one time and obviously we update it all the time. Like we make sure it's the best product as possible, but there's just a lot less work involved in that. So if you can think of a digital product, I highly recommend. Um, because the profit margins like there's just an insane difference um, And some like examples of digital products are printables ebooks presets, etc. Number four courses Okay, so I didn't realize the power of courses until I started my own blog because I took so many courses I swore by courses and I really quickly learned that there's money in education I was a college student. And I was paying a ton of money towards college so again money and education but then also i was spending a lot of money on taking blogging courses and um so as i started to become like an expert in my area and really really seeing results on like my website and how i was doing seo and how i was doing pinterest and how i was doing email i was like okay i'm gonna launch a course one, because you can make a lot of profit off of it. But two, I found that there was a gap in the market. Like there were so many courses that I took and, but there just wasn't one that I was like, this has just like, this is just as everything I need. So I was like, I'm gonna fill that spot in the market. And that's where I created my courses. I take them, they're so good. Not, obviously I'm biased, but a lot of like, we just get really good feedback on them. They're the dream courses that I wish that I had when I first started my blog. And we host those on Teachable. Um, so if you're looking to start a course, do it on Teachable, but there's so many things that you can take courses on. Like Sarah, who's one of the team members at BSL, she just took a course on like gut health. And there's just so many different things out there. And um, again, a course is passive income. Five, sponsored posts. So this is actually something that we really don't do that often. We're starting to explore it more with um, our houses, but um, sponsored posts, like how people get the word out and how brands get the word out about their products is through influencers, websites, etc. Like that is the new way of marketing these days. Not as many people go to stores. So just having something on your, like on a store shelf isn't gonna do it. And so a lot of these brands are looking for people to do sponsored posts and we as bloggers can capitalize on that. Um, so create a media kit to get like your pricing right. I am so specific, like I've only done a handful of sponsored posts because I just feel like it's so obvious that you're making money from it and I don't want my like readers or followers to feel like the only reason I'm showing them this is because it's sponsored and so I'm really strategic on it and just like like picky about it but you can you can bring in some decent money with some sponsored posts. Number six, social media. So social media apps are starting to now add in like a monetization part of it. So TikTok, they have like the creator fund, YouTube, you can put ads in your videos. Instagram is like starting to do stuff with um, like with money, I don't know. A lot of them, I mean, again, this is like a Google ad situation, like it's, not a lot of money, but at least it's something. And so that's another way that you can explore earning some income. Seven physical products. This goes back to like your own products. You can just make so much money off of your own physical products versus like selling someone else's as an affiliate. However, there is like a lot that's involved with that, even from like tax perspective. You probably can't do it alone depending on the volume that you're selling. So, um, but it is so worth it because you can just make so much more money than selling someone else's product. And then number eight, sell a service. And so that's like what we're getting into now with our design firm is that we sell a service of designing people's homes. You can sell a service of cleaning someone's home, of, um, 
watching their dog. I don't know, like anything. And again, that's the same thing as your own product. Like, especially with the service is a lot of the time you don't need to, like, of course, there's like overhead that you need to cover, but your client is really paying for the service and paying for your part. So there's not like as much risk risk there and a blog really goes perfectly hand in hand with the service because you can start and become like known as an expert in that area so that the service goes hand in hand with it like i don't know why this popped into my head but like a cleaning blog that would make so much sense to have a cleaning blog become an expert in the cleaning world and then launch a cleaning company like I would 100% hire someone that had really, really good cleaning tips on a blog, show me how to do things to then go clean like my house. Um, so those are like the top ways that to earn money. We really utilize all of those at this point, but it was definitely something that like I very strategically climbed up the ladder and learned each thing because each one is like really a new beast. So. Those are just different ways on how to make money from your blog. I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, add them to the comments. We get like all of the video ideas for this channel from the comments, so definitely add them there. Subscribe to this channel. I post a video every single week giving my top blogging tips. If you wanna start a blog of your own, I have like a step-by-step -step post on my website on how, exactly how I started my blog. And I also have income reports on there that I like religiously did in the beginning that goes over how much money I made. And it's just, I started those because I was reading other people's and they were so helpful. So that wraps up this video and I will see you at next week's blogging video.